Hi everyone. So I'm back again today to do a, a little bit more of that uh, dendritic uh, monoprinting. And I realized the other day that uh, I could do something else that's kind of cool on the glass when I'm doing this process. And I want to show you what I, uh, what I figured out. It's nothing major, but it's really cool to me. <laughs> I got some new glass too from the uh, glass store, glass manufacturing people, the glass company, and uh, they're like a quarter inch thick, and so I feel a lot more secure about it. And I went ahead and got a 12 by 12 size, so that if I wanted to make big prints, I could, but I could still make small prints too, if I wanted to. So today I'm making some small ones, and um, just wanted to show you this little. Uh, this little technique I figured out. <laughs> it's just fun. Put a tiny bit more of this one on here. Just doing several shades of green here. <clears throat> All right, and then rather than spread it out um, with the paintbrush like I was doing previously, I'm uh, I'm gonna leave it in the little blobs. Sorry, I had to get that paint off my hand. I'm gonna leave it in these little blobs and put the other glass on top. And it makes, of course it's gonna make that same dendritic pattern, but at the same time, it's making these cool little circles. Look at that. <laughs> I love it, I love circles anyway, so I really love this. As I push, they're they're kind of running together, so I may not end up with the circles that I wanted this time, but we'll still get a cool pattern. No biggie. The hell? How neat. I want to show you how it does the circles, though, in a minute. We'll just go ahead and finish this one out. And separate those. See the pattern on there already? Cool. Okay. So these are going to make a couple of cool, like, rectangular pieces. I'm sure I can envision it already. Okay, I got some book paper here. Print it on this side, I think. And again, I'm really lightly, just very lightly touching the surface. This is an index card. It's a perfect index card size, almost the exact size. I have my little baby wipe handy here. It's pretty. So is that. Pretty gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, love the colors. All right. Now let's get a little bit more of that one. I think I'll just put that on a deli paper. Let's see. Oops. I'm going to do one here. Here. I know you can't see this other side very well, but I will show you each print. So there we go. Got those two on the deli paper. I may be able to get one more here. Let's see. A 
little bit. It's light, but I got it. Okay, so that's good. And uh, I'm just put what's left of this one here on this scratch paper I was playing with earlier. Okay. Oops, that's where I had picked up the <laughs> wiped off that excess paint a minute ago. All right. So now I've got it on my fingers again. Okay. All right. I'm going to try this again. I'm going to see if I can uh, separate them separate them a little bit better though. By putting them in a line there, I think they were just a little bit close together. So. Oops. Okay. Where's my rag? Here it is. <clears throat> Let's try that again to put them a little less paint and maybe a little farther apart. We'll see how that goes. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll do a more, more spread out pattern this time. try to get about the same amount of paint from each color because my my thinking is that if you have one big blob of this color that's going to spread out and make a big bigger blob than the others you know <laughs> a bigger circle so if you keep them about the same size then I'm thinking you'll get about the same size circles I love the way it spreads out so perfect. I mean, look at the circles. They're, they're like perfect. See how there was a little bit more of the green, of the dark green than the others? <laughs> it's like gradual, <laughs> graduated. I did a little less and a little less. Not intentionally, but that's what, it, that's what happened. Okay. Perfect. Let's see what it looks like. Don't want to move the glass because I don't want to smear the... Oh no. Ooh. Thought I was going to drop it there for a second. <laughs> oh wow, this is so pretty. I've got some uh, music paper over here too, and some more book text. Let's see, I think I'll put this one here. This one here. That is so pretty. Isn't that cool? So neat. This one's even prettier. <laughs> Somehow, I mean, it's it's very identical almost. I mean, very much the same, but so pretty too. That is so neat. Gorgeous. I love them. All right, so let me, I can get these. Might be able to push the glass together and get them both at the same time. Let's see. 
my paper wide enough? Nope. <laughs> Not quite. So that's those. Okay. I'm going to do a couple more, basically the same kind of things, just, you know, doing some variations of colors that I like. So we'll put it in fast forward and we'll see you guys at the end.
So before I go, I wanted to just show you a couple of prints that I had made uh, earlier before I turned the camera on. And there's just some, uh, you know, pretty colors. Uh, here's one. Some of those that came out on the music sheet. Then I did these two, which I thought was kind of cool. And along the same lines, this one I think it was just a, another print from that same uh, from that same time. But um, I moved the glass, and I, I had no idea this was going to happen. But it made a heart. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? It looks even better on the index card that I took from the other the other side of the glass. Isn't that beautiful? The colors blended really, really nicely on that. So I got, I had pink, yellow, and uh, blue, just like I was doing on some of those others. And so it, where it mixed, it made green here, and it made a little orange in there, and it made purple here. And it's so cool, it, it's a heart, and it looks like um, uh, ventricles and all that stuff that's actually in your heart. <laughs> arteries and things <laughs> so I thought that looks so cool but I really like the shape of it really neat so this is a really a lot of fun so I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did and uh, I'll be back again soon uh, with another video I've already got um, started recording another one and uh, it'll be out pretty soon so once I get finished with what I'm making I'll uh, and finish recording it then I'll work on the upload so we'll see you guys again soon thanks so much for watching bye bye